Exercise 8.27 sum is an important 10 mark question. So you have to solve the differential equation x plus y the whole square dy by dx equal to 1. So likewise uh, whenever you are having an order 1 degree 1 uh, differential equation always remember to split the y uh, part together and uh, separately and the x part separately. So but in this case if you see it is x plus y the whole squared. So it might not be possible to split x and y very easily. So the tip is whenever you have x plus y the whole squared. Right? That is when you are going to have x and y together and it is going to be impossible to split it. You assume z is equal to x plus y. You have to make this assumption. Right? This is an assumption. So let z be equal to x and y. So whenever you see the sum with x plus y the whole square dy by dx equal to 1 and you have to solve it, you can straight away assume z is equal to x plus y. Now what we are going to do is let us uh, differentiate this equation here with respect to x. So you will get dz by dx differentiation of x is just 1 and you will get dy by dx ok so now can I get dy what, what will be the value of dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to dz by dx I am taking this 1 to the other side so it becomes minus 1 now what I am going to do is I am going to substitute the value of z and the value of dy by dx in this equation here the equation that we have to solve so instead of x plus y I am going to replace it with z so it becomes z squared and instead of dy by dx I am going to put this here so it becomes dz by dx minus 1 equal to 1 ok so let me expand this this becomes z squared into dz by dx minus z squared equal to 1. So I am going to take the z on one side and the x on one side right. So this will become z squared dz by dx equal to 1 plus z squared. I have not done anything. I have just taken this minus z squared to the other side. So it becomes plus z squared. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to take dx to one side and bring d all the z components to one side. So this equation becomes z squared by 1 plus z squared dx, I am sorry dz equal to dx. Okay. So as you know what we have to do is while solving these differential equations, I think we saw it in example 8.4 also. Uh, we have to separate the x and the y components in this case it is a z component and then you have to integrate so this is easy to integrate integration of dx you know it's straight away you know it's going to give you x but how are you going to integrate z squared by 1 plus z squared so what we are going to do is we are just going to do a small trick here ok so we are going to say 1 plus z squared minus 1. I am just adding and subtracting 1 for making my life easier. Okay, So this becomes dx. Now this becomes, now what we are going to do is that let us split this factor here, fraction here. So it is going to be 1 plus z squared by 1 plus z squared minus 1 by 1 plus z squared. So you understand what I am doing? I am just you know dividing this 1 plus z squared by 1 plus z squared and taking this minus 1 by 1 plus z squared separately. That is all. Ok. And that into dz is going to be my dx. So this becomes right 1 minus 1 by 1 plus z squared dz which is equal to dx ok 
I think now we can easily integrate it, right? So what will be this? So if I have to integrate these two equations, integration of 1 is going to be nothing but z. What is integration of, I'm sorry, it's a minus here, 1 by 1 plus z squared. I'm, if you remember the formula of integration, integration of, let me use a different color because I'm using a formula. So integration of 1 by 1 plus x squared is equal to, do you remember, tan inverse of x, right? So that is why we have done a plus 1 and minus 1 here so that I bring it to the form 1 by 1 plus z squared. So when I integrate that with that formula, I can write this as tan inverse of z. Okay, and this becomes what is integration of dx x plus the constant, right? So you got z minus tan inverse of z equal to x plus c. So now in the place of z, you can substitute x and y, x plus y. So in the place of z, I have substituted x plus y. So now this x and this x will get cancelled. So, I am just continuing here and your final answer will be, your solution would be y minus tan inverse of x plus y equal to c. So, this is your final equation. Okay. Is that clear? This is a 10 mark question. So, I will just run through the whole uh, sum again. So, we had x plus y the whole square dy by dx equal to 1 which we had to solve. So in order to separate x and y, what we did was we put an assumption that z is equal to x plus y. So whenever you see in differential equation sum x plus y the whole square where you cannot separate x and y, you assume z to be equal to x plus y and substitute it in this equation. right? And uh, instead of x plus y, you will put z. And instead of dy by dx, you will differentiate this equation and find the value for dy by dx. And then substituting that, you get this equation over here. Okay. Now, once you get this equation, all you have to do is separate z and x. So, for that purpose, we took uh, this z to this side. Okay. And then bought the x uh, separately. And then we were stuck with z squared by 1 plus z squared. We know that the integration of uh, 1 by 1 plus x squared gives us tan inverse x. So in order to bring it to that form, we added 1 and subtracted 1 in the numerator and then we divided 1 plus z squared, I mean we separated the fraction and so you got 1 minus 1 plus z squared dz and then you just have to do the normal integration and substitute x plus y in place of z. So, and you will get the answer straight away. This is a very important 10 mark sum and there are some similar to this. So, if you know to do this, I am sure you can do any other sum related to this. Instead of x plus y, you can have x minus y, that's all.